year, whether we like it or not, as a business owner, April 15th comes around and we have to pay our taxes. So we have to write some sort of check for an amount that we probably wish we didn't have to write the check for. So there's no way to avoid that, no way to get around it. But I do have a few tips for making this a little bit easier for you as you face April 15th tax day every single year. So the first tip is to take a portion of your profit every month that comes off of your profit and loss statement and set that aside for taxes. Put it in a separate account. Don't even uh, look at it, pretend it's not there. Just transfer the money every month and then move on with your week. So usually you want to talk to your tax person about this, but you probably want to look at 20 to 25% of your profit. So um, tip one, take a percentage of your profit and set that aside in a separate account every month. Then when it comes time to pay your estimated tax payments, the money's already there. Tip two is pay estimated tax payments. So these are due quarterly and although the penalty for not paying them is fairly small and it's tempting to not make those estimated payments, definitely go ahead and pay them. So paying them is going to help avoid a massive bill on April 15th. So when you have your tax return prepared, the uh, program will kick out what the minimum estimates would be, payments would be, based on the tax that you owed for the year the tax return was filed. So you can pay those amounts. If your revenue is a lot higher than what it was the year before, you may want to consider paying more. And again, if the revenue is a lot less, you could probably pay less. So tip two is pay your estimated tax payment. The third and last tip is to make sure you communicate with your tax professional throughout the year. So if you have a case settle that's a really large settlement and it's really going to bump your income up, make sure you talk to your tax professional about what that's going to do to your tax situation. And that really helps everyone get on the same page. If you do need to make more estimated payments, definitely talk, you know, talk through that. And also, if we just need to transfer more money into that tax um, savings account, um, that is all pieces that your tax professional needs to be in the loop on. And um, also, there may be some strategies for helping to kind of reduce that tax taxable income for the year if you have something unexpected happening. So tip three is make sure you talk to your tax professional throughout the year if something out of the ordinary happens with your income or expense situation throughout the year. Thanks for watching. Like, follow, and leave any comments you have about tax questions, about paying your taxes. Um, I'd love to help answer any of those.